Hello everyone, today we are going over my custom arcade machine that I built around a year ago. We will be going over the internals, the controls, the cabinet, and the software. Enjoy! Let's start off with the controls. I built it out of an arcade controls kit I purchased off of eBay. It came with all the buttons, switches, joysticks, and the control board to wire them all together. The controls are mounted on a piece of MDF which I drilled holes into for all the buttons. As you can see, the cabinet features buttons and sticks for up to two players, along with player 1 and player 2 start buttons. Figuring out how to wire all of the controls was definitely one of the hardest parts of this build. Now let's move on to the cabinet itself. It is constructed out of a wooden frame I built using 2x2s, which I then attached quarter inch MDF to. The back panel and top panel are made out of plywood. The actual cabinet design was designed by me, however I took inspiration from other designs. The cabinet is 6 feet tall at the front and 5 feet tall at the back. You may have noticed the pieces that don't look like wood along the front of the machine. Those are made out of black foam core board and leftover packaging materials. Inside the machine is pretty simple. You can see the wooden frame and all of the computer components. The Raspberry Pi powering this whole setup is located on a small MDF shelf, and the control board is hanging on the slanted body panel with a jungle of wires coming down from the buttons. The monitor I am using is a 1080p Dell display connected to the Pi via a VGA to HDMI adapter, which is sitting on another MDF shelf. For audio, I have the monitor's soundbar hooked up to the Pi, and the speaker is placed right under the monitor. The Ethernet cable is plugged into the Pi so I can hook it up directly to my laptop and transfer new games into the arcade machine. I needed to use the Ethernet cable because of the Raspberry Pi I'm using is a Raspberry Pi Model 2. All of this is plugged into a power surge protector with the switch always set to on, so that the arcade can be turned on by simply plugging it into the wall. When the arcade turns on, you are greeted by the friendly Raspberry Pi booting into RetroPie. This was my first RetroPie project, and since this I have built several other different devices running the software. When fully booted into Emulation Station, you can simply use the controls to navigate around and select your game. Once you are done playing, you can exit back into RetroPie by pressing the blue, white, green, and black buttons simultaneously. While this machine is far from perfect, it's my very own personal arcade machine. It was such a blast building it and seeing it develop through each different stage of the project. Thank you for watching, and Happy New Year!